So we've covered robots and how they're removing humans and all their flaws from surgery. It's totally sci-fi. It's awesome. Our next topic is kind of the opposite of this concept. It is taking the most fundamental part of our human selves to improve health outcomes. So I'm talking here about DNA and DNA sequencing. Todd, Broadview, what is going on in this space? And we've got science fiction all over the place that's reality, right? I mean, the whole concept of being able to rewrite um, the, the parts of our genetic code that are, are you know, malfunctioning um, and, and cure disease at the very base cause of it uh, is absolutely fascinating. And, you know, what we're t dealing with here are these uh, are technologies that are known as gene sequencers, and they're made by a company named Illumina. There's some others that do it as well. These sequencing machines allow you to basically dive deep into um, the DNA of living things, maybe plants, maybe people, maybe food, whatever, whatever. You're able to dive into this, find problems within those genes, and theoretically come up with solutions to those problems. This is so, so cool. I mean, I just absolutely loved doing research about this this morning. I mean, just thinking about the beginning of the Human Genome Project, which was completed 13 years ago, and how far we've come to today is incredible. I mean, this is something that sequencing the first human genome took 10 years, and now it takes a couple of hours. It, it cost $3 billion to do the first one, depending on who you ask. Now it's about $1,000. Yeah, it's amazing. And what's happening is that technology in, in this space is, is growing so quickly that they're able to build smaller and faster and better machines and come up with um, machines that you know are either targeting the high end where you need a lot of throughput and a lot of deep dive, deep sequencing, and then you're also targeting you know smaller markets for small labs that would be able to do you know maybe explore one particular aspect that that they wanted to do research on. That's that's the new mini uh, version that the Illumina just rolled out in January that only costs fifty thousand dollars. And this so, totally makes sense with the direction that you see healthcare taking now, where medicine is increasingly personalized. Yeah, I mean, there's a huge push towards personalized medicine, and rightfully so, right? Because we're finding that so many diseases uh, are tied to some, some mutation of a gene or an absence of a gene or a problem with a protein or, or something like that. And, you know, being able to, to go through and actually find them is step one of being able to then go back and say, OK, now that we found the problem, you know, how do we create a medicine, uh, either be is it an RNA, you know, type medicine? Is it, is it gene editing? Is it an immunotherapy? What is it? And how do we go about now repairing that DNA, the genetic code? So, you know, the future of gene sequencing is quickly and rapidly evolving towards you know, pairing up gene sequencing with the clinical research that's getting done uh, to develop drugs. Indeed. So right now, Illumina controls about 90 percent of this gene sequencing market. What do potential investors need to know about this company? Well, you pretty much just summed it up. I mean, 90 percent of the market, I mean, they, they're the dominant player. OK, there, there are other uh, companies out there that make sequencing machines. You've got um, Life Technologies, which is owned by Thermo Fisher that participates. You've also got Pacific Biosciences that just rolled out their latest model um, at the end of the fourth quarter. Uh, but they're small bit players. You know, you, Illumina's got 7,500 plus machines installed, th you know, throughout the world. And for comparison, Pacific Biosciences has about 160 machines. You know, Illumina does $2.2 billion a year in sales. And for comparison, you know, uh, uh, Pacific Biosciences does less than $100 million. So they are um, the Goliath in the space. And being the Goliath in the space means that they've got the resources and the financial firepower to really move this whole DNA sequencing thing into new realms. Yeah, and I think what you're leading into right now is their new Grail initiative, which could be by far the most important thing that they've done yet. 
Oh, well, you know, it's fascinating because you think about cancer and cancer is always evolving. It mutates and that's what makes it so hard to treat. Well, if you're able to to detect cancer early on, then you know you're going to be able to treat it more effectively. I mean, you know, most cancers, unfortunately, half of them are discovered in stage three or stage four levels. And that makes it extremely difficult uh, to treat them. You have to use more and more toxic um, chemicals uh, and medicines to try and treat them. What Illumina is doing with Grail is it's taking all of this experience in analyzing the genome and leveraging that to be able to identify biomarkers that are kicked off by cancer cells. So theoretically, Grail would allow you to detect cancer far sooner than you would be able to detect it otherwise. Yeah, maybe before you even have symptoms is the ideal. Um, what it's doing is instead of scanning for the effects of cancer, it's actually a direct measurement of cancer DNA. So your chances there of finding something early are much greater, and then that means that your chance of survival are much greater. So the yeah, and this is a big market. I mean, you, you, if, if you look at Illumina's presentation, it's available on their website. I urge everybody to go to their website and check it out. Um, you know, they talk about a base case where this could be a $20 billion a year opportunity. And that's just if you're detecting stage two or higher cancers in patients who are at high risk. If they evolve this technology to a point where they're able to detect stage one and be able to evaluate most patients and tell doctors where that tumor actually is located, then they think this could be this could the sky is the limit basically. Yeah, this bull case has a two hundred billion dollar market opportunity in theory. Yeah, in theory. Yeah, we don't let's we won't get the cart too far in front of any of the horses. Let's just assume that that this is going to be a diagnostic tool that we should see over the course of the next few years start to get rolled out in high risk patients, and know that this eventually could be a heck a more of a meaningful revenue contributor for investors than the sequencing machines themselves. Yeah, Illumina, ha Illumina has a greater than 50%, greater than 50% ownership in this venture. It's also got investors like Bill Gates, uh, Jeff Bezos from Amazon. Really, really interesting part of this company to take a look at and follow as they make progress.